Welcome to an example of a division problem involving fractions. Here we have 6 25ths divided by 21 fifths. So our goal here is to determine how many 21 fifths are in 5 25ths. To perform this division, we're going to use an alternative method where we obtain a common denominator, and once we obtain a common denominator, we can find the quotient by determining the quotient of the numerators. Here if we have a over b divided by c over b, this quotient is equal to a over c, or just a divided by c, where a and c are the numerators. And we'll also find this quotient using the traditional method of multiplying by the reciprocal. So to start the alternative method, we first want to obtain a common denominator, and since we have a denominator of 25 here, and a denominator of five here, our least common denominator would be 25, so we'll multiply 21 over five by five over five. So we have six twenty-fifths divided by twenty-one-fifths. Now we'll multiply the second fraction by five over five to obtain our common denominator. So now we have six twenty-fifths divided by, this would be one hundred five twenty-fifths. So in this form, we want to find the number of 105 twenty-fifths in six twenty-fifths, but because our denominator is the same, they're both twenty-five, this quotient is equal to the quotient of the numerators, which would be six divided by one hundred five. The reason this works is because if our denominators are the same, these pieces would be the same size, so this is the same as saying six pieces divided by one hundred five pieces, and therefore we can just find the quotient of the numerators. Well six divided by one hundred five can be written as six over one hundred five, which would be our quotient. But this fraction does simplify because six and one hundred five do share a common factor of three. So if we have six over one hundred five, and divide the numerator and denominator by three, we'll have our quotient in simplest form. This would be two over thirty-five. So this quotient tells us there's two thirty-fifths of twenty-one-fifths in six twenty-fifths. And if we wanted to find this quotient using the traditional method, which we see here, if we're dividing by c over d, this is equivalent to the multiplication problem where we multiply by d over c, which is the reciprocal of c over d. So six twenty-fifths divided by twenty-one-fifths is equivalent to six twenty-fifths times the reciprocal of twenty-one-fifths, which would be five over twenty-one. In this form, before we multiply, we want to simplify out any common factors between numerators and denominators. Notice that five and twenty-five share a common factor of five. So one five and five, and five fives and twenty-five, and six and three share a common factor of three. There are two threes and six, and seven threes and twenty-one. So now we can multiply, knowing our product will be in simplest form. One times two is two, and five times seven equals thirty-five. So as we would expect, the quotients are the same, using the two different methods. So it's up to you to decide which method works best for you. I hope you found this helpful.